crafting a novel is a very technical process and it requires many technical aspects from the book except for the writing itself and you need to make it as easy as possible. So today we're going to outline using OneNote and we're also going to migrate from Writer, which was covered in other video but I need to migrate from it really fast because it does not support writers like me that write non-fiction uh, technical guide style of books. So without further ado, this is what you do. You go to your notebooks here in one writer in OneNote, and OneNote is completely free, so don't be afraid to use it. Uh, you can get from Microsoft 15 gigabytes of storage, which is quite enough if you're writing books, and you get uh, your OneNote for free as well without any charges or uh, weird uh, agreements. So you go to Add Notebooks and you choose OneDrive. I really suggest using OneDrive and not Google Drive in this situation. I actually have both, but if you want to access your notebooks from the internet at our, some other person's place, you can do it easily when you store your books on OneNote uh, and on OneDrive. But if you do it on Google Drive, you will, have, you will save the books and they will be backed up in the cloud and everything is fine there. Except one thing, you cannot access it from the internet, so you have been warned. Name your book, I already named mine, and it immediately starts like this. And of course, this is the Y writer, I need to copy everything from here. So there is there are very useful options in the OneNote application. First of all, let's name the first section uh, uh, Outline and uh, Research. So we'll have this one as our main page, but I don't want to keep my whole book here in tabs. I want to have the book separated into just the book section. What do you do? You, you hit right click over here and you get, give it uh, an option of a new section group. New section group would be called uh, the book right now, right? I'm calling it the book because the whole notebook is called the uh, YouTuber's Guide, which is the name of my book in general, but I want to keep it as the, the book and maybe later I will save this as a template. So, uh, right, so now we begin our process, our migration. So the book itself is a collection of tabs. Every tab would be a chapter and every page would be a scene. Uh, which is very nice if your scenes are very different. For example, in my, in my situation, I modify the scenes all the time, so I need to navigate between them really fast. I don't want to look in a, for a scene in a chapter because it would take ages to do so. So we, we are separating like this, and later when we export, everything would be separated only by titles of the scenes, so you can easily delete them later. So uh, we have uh, chapters in YWriter. By the way, why am I migrating from Y Writer? From y, y Writer, uh, two things. First of all, it does not support exports with pictures, and I'm doing tons of those, really tons of those, because I'm writing a technical guide which has hundreds of images, and without exporting them, what use does this application have to? In my case, it doesn't. So. Let's move from it. Another thing, I was flying on a plane two days ago. Well, no, it was yesterday. I'm still jet lagged. And I wrote a whole scene with screenshots and everything, like maybe 500 words. And something moved on my laptop and the text got deleted. Normally, it would control, hit Control Z and everything would be fine, but in Y Writer, for some reason, everything is gone. So it's kind of bummer because, uh, you know, it's a uh, NaNoWriMo and I, I interpret NaNoWriMo as national non-fiction writing <laughs> month, right? So, uh, and uh, it's, it's gone, it's gone. And I need to cover a specific word count. I don't want to repeat everything. It's just it really bothers me, you know. I need to rely on my tools 100%. So uh, enough rant. So this would go, preparation. Operation. Don't mind the spelling mistakes. I'll correct them later. Then we go. What new section? Yeah, uh, testing the software. So I don't want to keep you waiting until I finish all of the outlining. We will just do uh, an example of how you perform it, and then we would go to our writing itself. So. Now I create the section themselves, add page, yeah, this would be the list of tools, add page, downloading the software. As you see, Y Writer is really fast when it comes to uh, 
image processing uh, to images in the text it's it does it it's a well written tool I, I don't have any complaints about it in terms of writing novels I really don't it it's really great and it surprises everything really fine but if you are a technical writer find something more suitable and this is our case and by the way uh, reading the Google I found that in general uh, one note is config is considered to be a very uh, good thing for writing novels as well so here, here we go just one example as you see I have the same scene repeated three times why because the amount of images that I can put in a single scene is very very limited so I had to separate it into three chunks not really nice thing to do when you work with uh, notebooks don't do that but in one note I can I get actually to put everything in the same container so much cleaner niftier I gonna like it a lot so I gonna copy it only once and another thing configuring folders so what you do what you do to outline your novel or non-fiction book you need to do th two things first of all separate them into logical order so I separated my chapters and scenes into uh, what it's called then the sections and pages all right so every page is a scene every section is a chapter every collection is a book and every notebook is actually the whole thing regarding to one book so for example if you're writing many books you have a new notebook for every book, but you have everything regard related to this book in the same place. And creating research, I don't need to tell you how easy it is with one note, right? You Google for stuff, you find your information, you store it really fast. Scrivener, uh, people use a lot of Scrivener on Apples. And it might be a good thing, except for one little detail. You cannot access it from anywhere, right? You cannot access it from your phone properly. You cannot do it from Windows. Uh, it's not multi-platform kind of thing. You need to carry your laptop around every time. And it, may, it might work for some people, but for some other people, it might not. So configuring OCAM, I'm just going to finish this uh, specific section and leave you be you need to write actually so if you are watching this youtube video out of boredom or education you have been properly educated now and uh, yeah you can continue to do your stuff so uh, exporting is a little bit uh, interesting i'm not using microsoft word on this laptop i'm using the office libre because we are all about free tools i don't want to pay for tools why? Because, well, there are many reasons for that, but the most important one, I don't want to spend a cost a whole laptop on software that I'm using periodically. This is one thing. And another thing, there are enthusiasts, people that would like to contribute. And, well, they work need to be recognized, and maybe I will donate here and there a little bit. But the software should not cost that much. I, I, I seriously doubt that the software should cost that much. All right, so uh, this is what we did. We have a separate chapter here and we have a list of scenes. Now I need to copy everything. And here Y Writer does help me a little bit. So uh, I just go to my first scene here. You see, it's really fast. And I copy everything from here directly, right? And it works. And it works. How well it works, I don't know. Do I have screenshots here? No, not in this section. All right. Download the software. This one should have screenshots. So this is the test, the ultimate test of our ability to copy stuff. And we are screwed. We are screwed because we cannot copy our scenes and their images properly, which is, which is really bad for me. Let's see how it works from this perspective. Control A, no, Control A, delete, come on, delete the book. There we go, and oh man, as you see, I cannot copy from Y Writer. Well, I, I, at least I can copy the structure, which is really nice, but I cannot do more than that. Uh, that is not really nice, so I need to go to the actual folder structure, folder structure and copy this from RTF files. Google Drive, projects, as you see, I cannot uh, do any, and we have the RTFs here, 
And now we need to figure out what RTF is what. So RTF number one. RTF number one. It's kind of, kind of empty. You see from the size, you don't need to go inside. But this one already has interesting stuff in it. So we open it in LibreOffice Write. And we wait for it. And then we wait some more. This is a slow laptop, so don't don't uh, don't judge me, please. I'm feeling ashamed for it as well, but uh, it's quite nice. It has a fingerprint scanner here, so which I love, by the way. It's really really good. So control, and then we go to the office. Then we go to OneNote. Select the section and just paste it like this. Do I have it? Do I have? Do I what? Con con control everything. What? What? Oh, this is a really nice video for you guys. You don't get to learn anything, but I get to post a video. Alright, uh, well, good deal, good deal, good thing. And we see that it tries. It really tries to copy everything, but it just it can't. Alright? So now you know opening RTFs in Impress uh, in uh, in Writer is not good. So let's try uh, WordPad. WordPad. Let's go to the basics. By the way, writing in WordPad is not really bad. Just just that you should know. Hey, okay. I don't have more apps. WordPad. WordPad. Here you go. WordPad. Let's see how you perform more fun. So those are my stuff. Then we control C, then we go here. We delete this section and we paste. Oh, come on. All right. So obviously I have something to fix here, but uh, yeah, what we learned. We learned that you can actually work in OneNote instead of WriteWriter, <laughs> and you can outline your novel in uh, in uh, the OneNote application. Although we did not complete the process, but to get the main idea, I just click here and I go to my research, of course, and it would be, for example, uh, screenshot archive or something like that, and we just uh, keep filling this page with research, for example, numbers. When I need to talk about user statistics, I would be using numbers, and everything is very, very quick here. And we can create new sections, although I don't want this section to exist. Yeah, let's delete it. And this is the book, which I need to figure out how do I migrate from it because this I I don't get it. Can I copy the image? I can copy the image, but I cannot copy everything else. Um, control A, Control A, yeah, wait doesn't work right so i need to sit on it a little bit i hope you liked this video uh, i hope you also hated this video because i hated it so hit a dislike for me if possible <laughs> and if you like to see more of those videos I, I usually don't fail to work like this uh, but if you like to see more just subscribe and share thanks for watching